In this video we will walk through the concepts and process for Zybooks Lab 2.12. This video is really about providing you with the tools and understanding to be successful when coding Lab 2.12. This video specifically pertains to SNHUIT 140. Several core competencies are required for mastery of Lab 2.12. The new competencies for Module 2 are using the split function to convert a string to a list, which can be found in Zybooks Section 2.11. Core competencies from Module 1 are variable creation which can be found in Zybooks Section 1.11, the use of the input and print functions, which can be found in Zybooks section 1.3. Let's take a look at what Lab 2.12 is asking. First, Zybook splits this lab into three parts. We will evaluate each part individually. As we go we will build the concepts for successful execution of the lab. We can break up the description for part 1 into three different concepts. First Zybooks asks that you prompt the user to enter two words and a number. When Zybux uses the word prompt it is an indicator that they want you to use the input function. Zybux is asking you to enter two words and a number. What they really want you to do is use the input function three times. Now using the input function on its own won't get you anywhere. That is why the next instruction states storing each into separate variables. So if we put the first part of the instruction together with the second part of the instruction, we then have three variables into which the result of the input statement is assigned. Several core competencies are required for mastery of Lab 2.12. The new competencies for Module 2 are using the split function to convert a string to a list, which can be found in Zybooks Section 2.11. Core competencies from Module 1 are variable creation which can be found in Zybooks Section 1.11, the use of the input and print functions, which can be found in Zybooks Section 1.3. Let's see what we have. We have already defined three variables. So the print statement needs to contain those three variables. But the program wants all three variables on a line separated by a space. How can we do that? Python has a function called format, which can be used on a variable of type string. That means if we create a string we can add the function format to the end. For example, I create two variables called var1 and var2 and set them equal to values. I can create a string and then place those variables right into a string. It will look like this. But that isn't all. We want to use that string inside a print function. The function call will look like this. You can use this statement and expand it to see the requirements of the problem. In part two of the problem, Zybooks asks us to output two passwords using a combination of the user input. The use of the word output tells us that Zybooks wants us to use the print function. There are two specific formats Zybooks is requesting for the password. The first password format combines the first word you entered, then an underscore, and finally the last word you entered. Notice in this password the number is not used. In the second password you will use the number followed by the first string entered and ending with the number. So how do we accomplish this? We use the format function provided by Python. While it is not required I suggest when you create the passwords you assign them to variables. This will make part 3 of the problem a bit easier. Each of the new passwords will have its own print function. Can you figure out what the correct format is from the Zybooks description? Hint, don't forget the extra wording required by Zybooks in the example. The final portion of the Zybooks lab 2. 12 is to output the length of each password. This can be accomplished by using the len function provided by Python. The len function counts up all of the characters in a string and returns that count. Again, don't forget the verbiage required by Zybooks. Finally, let's take a look at the overall program flow. Once you tell Zybooks to run you script, you will need to gather the user input. These are the three input functions and their corresponding variables. Next you will need to create the passwords using the format specified by the Zybooks problem statement. You will then need to output the passwords you created making sure to use the extra language provided by Zybooks. And finally you will output the password length. Again making sure to add the extra wording required by Zybooks. Now give it a try. I'm sure you will do a wonderful job. 